Hi, this is Omi the Audi Nerd. We are back with the Audi Q4 e-tron. You're probably here as you have just watched my Q4 e-tron video. If you haven't watched the full video that goes over the entire vehicle, I'll link that down here and then come back to watch this one. All right, now that you're back and you're ready to order, let's go over all the options and features in the three different Q4 models. As you know from the last video, this one I'm here with specifically is the Q450 all-wheel drive 2022 model. But there are three different models, so let's go over each of the three models. Let's get started. So starting with the Audi Q440 rear-wheel drive. And you may be thinking right away, well, rear-wheel drive, why the heck would I want that? They've actually done a lot of testing with the rear-wheel drive, and it has proven to be incredibly good in the snow, even in conditions like here in Nebraska. It is because the lower pan is all battery and which brings the center of gravity really low and it's quite actually a pretty heavy vehicle so then it performs great in the snow. The Q440 is 201 horsepower and has a top speed of 99 miles an hour. It goes from 0 to 60 in 7.9 seconds. It does share the same battery as the all-wheel drive and the Sportback version as an 82 kilowatt hour battery with a charging time of three days on the standard 110 outlet anywhere from nine hours to seven and a half hours on your level two home charger and at a public level three charger, 5% to 80% in 38 minutes. There are three packages I want to highlight on the Q440. It comes standard as a premium. You can add the convenience package where you get things like the power lift gate with hands-free operation, passenger power seats, and interior and exterior auto dimming mirrors. The premium plus builds upon the convenience package and allows you to have things like adaptive cruise control, LED interior lighting, and a heated steering wheel with adaptive cruise control paddles. The last package I want to highlight is the technology package where you can get things like the Sonos audio system, MMI navigation, and traffic sign recognition. The maximum built price is $56,945. Now moving on to the Q450 all-wheel drive, which is just like this one I have here. The starting price on that vehicle is $54,495. This car has three different trim levels. So you have premium, premium plus, and prestige. As this one, as we mentioned, is the prestige trim level. Starting at the premium trim level, you can also add the convenience, which adds the same packages that are available on the rear wheel drive. Beyond that, you go up to the premium plus. Moving all the way to the top for the prestige, the biggest thing you get with the prestige is the augmented reality, heads up display, and navigation standard. The Q450 is the first vehicle that has the option for the S-Line package. The S-Line package is actually black optics and then some. So it's got a couple other cooler things that it adds with it, including different wheels and front sport seats and a really cool steering wheel. And it's double flat bottom, which is the flat top and the flat bottom. And it's still heated. Finally, we get the flat bottom still with the heating. Moving on to the last variation of the Q4, it is the Q4 Sportback 50 all-wheel drive. The starting price is $57,495. It also has three trim levels, so premium, premium plus, and prestige. Starting with the premium, same type, same features, moving up to the convenience package, add that to the premium, then going to premium plus as we discussed with the other one, and then finally to Prestige. This, the Sportback also has the option for the S-Line package. There's one caveat with the S-Line package on the Q4 Sportback. It is $600 cheaper than the other vehicle because it does not have roof rails. The Sportback has two wheel options, a wheel similar to this one, and then one for the S-Line package. The colors on the exterior and the interior are shared between all three vehicles. For whatever reason, we only got four exterior colors for this year. We don't know what 2023 has in store yet, but I'm really hoping that there's two colors that they bring. For 2022, the colors were Glacier White, Pebble Gray, Navarra Blue, as this one is, and Mythos Black. The two colors that I really want to see, and I'll put the pictures up here for you to take a look at, Geyser Blue and Aurora Purple. Pretty dang cool, right? Hopefully Audi brings us those for 2023. When comparing all three of these vehicles, the, both the SUVs are the same size and the Sportback is actually the same exterior size as well. However, the Sportback has a trick up its sleeve. The regular Q4 e-tron cargo capacity is 18.4 cubic feet. With the seats down, it is 52.6 cubic feet. On the Sportback with the seats up, it is 18.9 cubic feet, half a cubic foot of additional room in the Sportback. With the seats down, it is 51.6. So you do, you do lose a little bit in there with that sloping back here up towards the top. And in the rear, you do lose 24 millimeters of headroom. Not very much at all. They did lower those rear seats back there to allow for the maximum amount of headroom available.
Thanks for watching my video on how to order your Q4 e-tron and the package is available. If you have any other questions or if more information has come up for 2023, I will be doing a second video. Otherwise, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.